Hey, John Hickok here. I want to do kind of a shooting comparison between the uh, Hudson 9 and the Glock 19. I don't know, it's a gun. What other kind of comparison is there? Well, the, of course, uh, there's always the different features and everything. And, you know, again, there's a lot of stuff that goes into comparing these two guns. But mostly I just want to talk about the shootability of them. I'm going to shoot uh, two magazines through each one. I'm going to interchange and just kind of, uh, as I go, just sort of talk about the differences that I notice. You know, of course, the obvious one right off the bat, and I've already shot this a little bit, is the weight. It's a, it's a very heavy gun. And the, and the Glock 19, I feel like, sort of represents, you know, a lot of the polymer pistols in its class to a certain extent. Um, you know, but this is definitely a, it's a different kind of gun, so I kind of want to you know, do a little, little, little comparison for you guys. All right. Of course, like always, I want to remind you to go to budsgunshop.com and go over there and support them if you can. Also, check the link in the description to join the NRA. If you have not done that, please do that. Also, go to sdi.edu. And uh, if you want a career in gunsmithing, go see what they have to offer at sdi.edu. And we are shooting federal ammo today. So, All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm just going to mainly shoot kind of these close targets here in no particular order. I'm just gonna kind of shoot them until the mag is done and then I'm gonna pick up the 19, shoot a mag and, and so on. And then sort of talk about it as I go. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so I, I was pulling it left, I think really bad there. Of course, first thing I noticed this big sight. You know, it's got a, I think it's a Trigicon. Yeah, it's, it's a really big, just jumps out at you sight. Great for close in kind of stuff. You know, the trigger is a little strange. It has a nice break. It, it takes some getting used to uh, because of the trigger safety. It, you know, it just feels a little a little weird, but the gun just sit, really sits nice and, and low in your hand and feels really good. Let's uh, shoot the 19 here. Gen 5. Okay. All right. Of course, yeah, I have more experience with this gun, but you know, there's a little bit more noticeable uh, muzzle flip, muzzle rise, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I feel, even though I can see that front sight so much better, for some reason I feel better about the Glock sight picture. It could just be because I have more experience with it, but I just feel more confident with it. Again, that could be an experience thing. All right, last mag with the Hudson. This thing just feels great. It's heavy though. It's considerably heavier than the Glock. It's, you know, more like a 1911. So, uh, someone called the cops on us. So hopefully we can get the video done before they get it. Okay. So again, I'm having some issues with that one, pulling it, jerking it to the left. I'm guessing that's that's where it's going. Okay, so, you know, as far as shooting these two guns, these two pistols, handguns, blasters, whatever you want to call them, I've, I feel like, you know, this thing, it just really, it really stays in there. There's not a lot of muzzle flip. Of course, it's very heavy. It's a lot heavier than this gun. It's, you know, it's like a 1911. Um, but, you know, I still feel like I can shoot the Glock better. Again, that could be experience, but low recoil doesn't necessarily mean you automatically are going to get a uh, better sight realignment. That's one of my things with the, uh, with the Chris, which I know the Chris Vector, it's kind of designed for full auto, but at least it's semi-automatic. It's big claim to fame is that it doesn't, you know, move your sights around as much because of that elaborate spring system that it has. Well, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't, to me, the recoil is kind of in a, it comes at you in a kind of a weird way. So it's, it's more confusing. I'd rather just go ahead and come up and then come right back down into your sight picture. And I sort of feel like that a little bit with, with the Hudson. I don't know. I just feel more comfortable, you know, shooting the Glock. But you know, again, I have a lot more experience shooting this gun by far than this one. I've only probably put, you know, probably 
it's just shy of 100 rounds through it or something like that at this point. But it's a great feeling gun. It feels amazing. I mean, just God, does it feel good in your hand. It feels really good. And the trigger break is good. I think um, the, the trigger is just the position of it. And with that um, trigger safety, it just feels kind of weird. And I think that's a lot of why I'm, uh, you know, kind of pulling it. I think if I slowed down, I could probably shoot a little better. But it's very heavy. That's the thing. But as far as just shooting it, you know, I, I think, you know, if you spend some time with one of these, I think this could, actually could be a really nice shooter. Because, again, it feels great, controls the recoil very well. But uh, as far as just, just shooting the two of them, I mean, i got to go with the, with the Glock, of course, you know. But, again, that's, that's probably a very biased opinion because I have a lot more experience with the Glock. But I like that gun. It's a neat gun. So, anyways, whatever that's worth to you. Just wanted to show you that and remind you the big difference between these two guns is the weight. This thing is very heavy. It's a very solid, solid gun. It's a, 19, it's a Striker Fire 1911, uh, and it feels and weighs like one. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I appreciate all of you guys, and I will see you on the next video.